Richo, you're both in outstanding form. Arsenal haven't lost since the end of August. You've won your last six games. Uh, what gives in this in this game, and where do you think it'll be won? I think will be tough the game. First of all, I think this uh, will be an exciting game. Uh, we do with two very good teams, and uh, what is going to happen? Hope that we on the end we can uh, have a very good performance and can win the game. That is our objective. No. How different do Arsenal look this season? I mean, you've gone up against them for the last five years, both at Southampton and obviously here. I mean, the atmosphere seems to seems to have changed there. They're much more difficult to beat. No, it's, of course when. Uh, after uh, after Wenger uh, era, I think always when this situation happened, always with the, when arrive a new a new manager, always the thing change on the in the in the clubs. Of course, uh, I have a very good relationship with Unai, and he's a great manager, and of course um, he's doing a, a fantastic job there. But always Arsenal was a very good team, got very good uh, player with unbelievable management from a, one of the greatest uh, manager um, ever. And of course now is uh, of course it's a it's a completely different culture uh, for a manager that is Spanish, uh, and and of course that uh, would be tough because. Uh, I think um, they are doing uh, a very good, uh, a very good job from the beginning of the season. I think they sign a very good player too, and of course in the squad uh, have very good uh, quality, and that would be tough. You mentioned that you know Bruno quite well. Anyway, what did you make of the fact that he recommended you for the Valencia job as a successor back in 2012? Can you talk us through what happened? No, it's so clear. I think. Uh, I saw an interview in, I think it was in a newspaper in, in, in Spain, but that, that, that was true. Um, and I called him to say thank you. Uh, and, and of course, uh, um, I am so grateful. And, and of course, uh, make me feel happy that one colleague and like and I uh, recommend you to, to another team. Um, and of course, we we face uh, in Spain um, when we were there. I know we say um, we build a very good relationship, personal relationship. You see a coach who perhaps looks at the opponents a little bit more than most most other coaches, and that, will that make your job difficult possibly on Sunday? Of course, um, he's uh, for me. <laughs> an unbelievable manager. He show in, in a different clubs in, in Europe. Um, and of course, it will be tough. Will be, will be tough to play again again him again the teams that uh, manage uh, him. And of course, uh, and then Arsenal have a very good player. And, and of course, it's a derby. And when it's a derby, uh, it's an exciting game. Means a lot for the for the fans. I think it's a component that uh, emotional that make uh, uh, more difficult to play this type of game. There was a lot of talk in the lead up to the trip to Chelsea last season about how long it had been since Tottenham had won there. You've got a similarly bad record <coughs> at Arsenal. Are you confident now that you, your players have the mentality to go and win this type of picture, especially after the win at Manchester United this season? Yes, I think the mentality so far is, is so good. Um, I think um, now it's, uh, it's about to deliver the shop. Um, I think we have the belief that it's most important in football. The belief is, and the faith that you can beat any team uh, away from home or at home. And I think uh, today the squad has that belief and that is the most important. And then the performance can be good or not so good. And maybe you can have some or you have some lucky or not in different games, but I think with the right mentality, all is possible. A couple of your players at least have said that they're still finding the pitch at Wembley very difficult, even though you've had some good results there. You, is it a relief in some ways to be playing a different surface, even though it's Arsenal? Well, I don't know what they say, but um, only I am so happy to play in Wembley. <coughs> I'm so happy, of course, they say the, the, the pitch is not the best, and but that, that circumstance uh, we, uh, we, we knew, 
that is maybe arrived that moment and we are going to struggle, struggle with the with the grass of the of the pitch of the of Wembley, but it's not Wembley fall. It's, it's uh, the circumstance that uh, we need to to take. And, and I think for both team, when you play for uh, when we play against Chelsea or when Inter, was the circumstance and the, the, the situation was for both team the same. Um, of course, that you want to play in better in better. Uh, Pitch or with better grass, but that, that circumstance is not uh, Wembley uh, fall, and I think it's the circumstance that still our stadium is not ready. Mr. Sissoko seems to be vastly improved as a Tottenham player recently. What do you think is the key to his uh, rebirth as a Tottenham player, if you like? But the key, like I told in the last press conference, for me, the, we cannot underestimate the platform that offer uh, Tottenham for all the players to improve. When you see not only him, if not Dele Alli, Kieran Trippier, Eric Dyer, um, player like uh, fullbacks that uh, became international like uh, Danny Ross or um, Kai Walker um, or Harry Kane. I think it's, or in this case that you asked me about, uh, about um, Musa Sissoko. I think it's the platform that provide Tottenham it's a massive, uh, massive opportunity for all the players to improve. That is is important to to recognize and 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 not underestimate that that situation that is is so important because I think um, in the last uh, I think four four year and a half um, how the the player improve um, are, are amazing are massive and that is a a big uh, credit to the platform that. Tottenham provide to the players. You're only five points off the lead with Manchester City um, at a time in the year when you tend to find your best form and go well between now and the end of the season. Do you consider yourselves title challengers? We are in a very good position on the table. Very good position. And if you consider it last season in that moment, I think we were in with six points less. And um, we improve a lot from last season. Um, we are closer than last season, than the top. Um, I, I cannot say that we are a, a contender for the for the title. I think uh, Manchester City is in different level, um, and of course, a club like Liverpool, Chelsea, the same Manchester United, or Arsenal. They they made. Um, more investment than us um, in different level, of course, uh, and I think uh, they uh, need to show or need to be uh, the contender, or, th or they are the contender more than us, but we are there. If we are capable in the last few months of the season to be in a good position on the table, we are going to try. And, but football, like before, from the beginning, I, I told you, it's belief, it's faith in your quality, and then is the is the approach of the the game with the right attitude and the right way, and all is possible. And just finally, from me, the club announced in the last hour that they'll be having a familiarisation event at uh, White Hart Lane. How much of a relief will that be to you? Because it's a sign that the move home is just edging up a bit closer. Yes, make uh, me feel very happy, very very happy because. Uh, I don't know if Simon is agree with me, but maybe make me feel that we are close, no, uh, to compete there. I think it's um it's an important thing to the fans, for the fans, or for the club to start to to show uh, our new home, and yes, make me very very excited. Mauricio, afternoon to you. Good afternoon. You've mentioned about the uh, the battle for the championship, winning the title itself. The top four, the way the clubs have spent all around you, the way they've been going, you said the points that you've accumulated more so far this season. Is it arguably stronger, that battle even for the top four? Yes, I think it's, it's, it's tougher uh, than last season because uh, with the same point this season, last season, I think we were uh, second or in a best, better position. Um, I think, uh, yes, uh, 
to be on the top four in this uh, in this season will be tougher than the previous season. Um, yes, I agree. But we have the belief. Uh, we have the the, 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 the the belief that we can do that delivery a very good job and that is the most important because the quality we have the quality. Unai Emery is a man you know very well. How have things changed at Arsenal under his management? Yes, I think it's uh, sure that this completely different manager, uh, person than uh, cultural. Uh, if you compare with with Wenger, of course Wenger uh, made up a fantastic job, great job. For me, it's one of the best managers ever in, in the history of football. But now it's true that it started a new era in, in Arsenal. And of course, uh, always with the, when I arrive a new manager, I arrive new ideas and, and different uh, way to do the things. Of course, that they are doing a very good job. They start um, uh, from, I think, a very good start on the Premier League, playing in Europa League. Um, and of course, um, they sign good player. They had uh, on the past a very good team, um, and of course, um, he's doing a fantastic job, and he's going to do a fantastic job because he's a great manager. You've been involved in many derbies all around the world. How does the North London derby compare? Oh, it's difficult to compare, and it's not fair to compare. Um, I was involved when I was a player in Newell Solboy Rosario Central, uh, or, or I was a player too. Um, Espanol Barcelona, um, Paris Saint Germain Marseille, and now like a manager, uh, I think it's a special, a special game. Always is is uh, it's tough to play uh, this type of game because it means more than uh, a game. We know very well how it means uh, this game for what it means for this uh, for our fans this this game. And of course, but in the last few years, I feel Arsenal, like Chelsea or different team, London or West Ham, that is a is a is a derby and a special game and means a lot for our fans. And every season, I think we had one team more, no, like uh, Palace or Watford, or now we are we are going to play again Fulham too, no, and uh, like uh, another club in in London and is in, in Premier League. Does it mean as much to the players? You keep mentioning. No, of course the players feel that, and of course the players are aware about what means that uh, that game. And of course we have a lot of players that uh, through the academy um, are right to the first team. Um, you know, it's, it's, they know very well what it means to play against Arsenal. And just finally, away from this game, I'd like to mention the Copa Libertadores and the move to the Bernabeu. Your thoughts on that? But I still I don't know. Eh? I still rumors because uh, many people say they confirm the game, but in Argentina they don't. Still they are fighting to try to try to play there the the Clásico. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I I going to say. I seen waiting for the confirmation, official confirmation, and and, uh, and we see we see what happen. But for me. It's a it's a sad moment because I think the classical uh, is is to play in Argentina as sure is completely different to play now in if it's true in, in Madrid. But for me now I think it's not important who is going to win or who is going to lose. I think uh, uh, what happened what happened on the on, on, on Buenos Aires before the game for me uh, it's not important anymore the game or the title or the or the Copa Libertadores, who is going to win. Thank you. Uh, Marisa, you've both been managing the uh, players very carefully <coughs> recently. Can Steli Ali, Soko, Ben Davies play three games in eight days to start? We are assessing them. Um, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, it's true today, um, and we have tomorrow to decide. Of course. Player, if we feel that the player is, we are going to take uh, some risk. Of course, we are going to rest. It's not important the name. Um, if we we believe that we need to rest some player. We are going to rest. We are not going to take the risk. We are going to put the player that we believe that can cope with 90 minutes uh, the, the, the the effort. And you know, you cannot avoid 100% the the risk. Uh, on the player, but we need to be sure that the players that are going to play, uh, we feel 
that are ready to, to compete. This is a tough decision in terms of defence as well, because I think uh, Planet 4 is recent form, so you've got Vertonghen as well. Easier. Yeah? Yes. When you don't have an uh, option, <laughs> you need to be, play, play with the player that you have. But when you have options and and all the the player um, in the last uh, few weeks are performing in a very very good way. If you take one decision or another, you are right, and that is the the most important. No?